Hey everybody, it's Del here, and welcome to Dungeon Drafters. So, um, this is actually a Kickstarter demo for a game that I've uh, been, well, I've already backed anyway, but I've been pretty excited for. I played this demo a little while back. Um, I'm not sure what has uh, changed about it, but I wanted to show it off to everybody and get pe other people excited too. So, this is Dungeon Drafters. It is a roguelike uh, card battle, tactical battle, think like Final Fantasy Tactics, um, but with cards instead. I don't know how, what's the best way to explain it. Anyway, this, this tells you here how to play. Um, you have your cards down the bottom there, my mouse does not exist at the moment, but you have your cards down the bottom to um, figure out what to use. You have certain action points and I think they can cost different amount of action points. Um, you have your discard pile, your deck, your life, um, when the enemy is going to attack and their life. Then you also have you know, you know your description of the cards, I don't exactly know what all the symbols mean. Um, then the usual moves, etc, etc. Um, I'll figure it out as I go, I can't remember all the, all the controls, but we'll get there. J is past 10, that is important, I feel. Alright. Let's get right into it. Uh, cool, so I think it's room based as well, but yeah. So right now, it doesn't really matter what my movements are like, but I have... Uh, I have three action points. I think I can just try it now, for example. Let's shoot a fireball in a direction. If I do that and then click in a direction, I'll use up. Didn't actually use up my action point, but there you go. It goes to the discard file. I don't know how to get them back. Ah, uh, but yes, I guess we will see how we go, won't we? Um, I think there's like a, like a smallish gacha e system as well. Ah, right, cool. So this tells me their intention to move forward and then uh, explode. Same with that one, same with that one. Alright, so hit any, her, her target in a direction causing 2 damage to anything it survives to. So if I move one, that's one action point. Oh, right, let's see. Ah, uh, okay. This. Oh, right, I actually need to move up. So, I think I might have already done this badly, but we will see. Oh, right. So that teleports me. Oh, tell I can hit the next enemy. That's what it says. Alright, kill. Oh, right. That's what it means. Kill, teleport to target, and re-engage. So that means I can use the card again. Alright, since I can't do it, I just drop. So this guy said he was going to move to forward this way and explode. Oh, it just shows me, oh, it shows me his movement range, and if I'm within range, that's what he tends to do. Okay. Um, we don't need a slime. Let us, we don't need any AoE. Let's just fling this dude back. There you go. Pretty straightforward. Um, there's money. I, th I think I can basic check to destroy these? No. No? Can I? No. Can I oh, yeah, I can just, if you just walk into them, it counts as attacking. Okay. That is good to know. Learning. Alright, so, common slimes, move forward, do nothing. So I can just move forward, and let's say I make a phantom copy of my thunder strike, because I liked it before. I'd use it on my card, right? Use it on my turn too. So we'll move up here. Very cute um, animation for this as well. Very nifty. Right, so Thunder Smite is the copy. So I do. I don't think there's actually a way for me to hit both, is there? Unless I do. No, I don't think I can do anything about that. Oh, well. oh, and I needed to kill anyway, so I couldn't kill. Alright, let's just push him back. I think I shouldn't be wasting cards and just smacking them instead. That's probably what I'm meant to do. Okay, so we move to, I should be able to hurl him into something. If I draw the hurl card. How do I actually check my deck? Do I actually check it? Oh, what is it? Move unerringly in it. Oh, I only draw one a turn. I don't refresh. I smack him for one, and then I should be able to kill all of them. 
like a thunderstruck will just keep letting me. Yes, there we go. Nice. Alright. All right. I, I feel like these should drop some money at some point, right? So I'm just going to keep smacking them. I did have gold from killing stuff before. But yeah, that's the general basis of the game. There's, um, yeah, like a little gartery system to get your cards as well, as far as I understand. Uh, what are you going to do? You're just going to move up to... Uh, I just passed to... What are you going to do? Ooh, you're summoning. You're moving up and possibly exploding. I just passed turn there if um, everyone didn't realise. So he's theoretically going to be up there. And you're just going to keep stubbing. Next turn, will you do the same? Oh, you swap with an item. Let's just take it to slow as and then all my cards. Actually, did I discard down? Did it automatically discard for me? Or did it draw and push out a card? So it doesn't even draw me a card. Okay. Ah, the common slime's on my side, I think. So it's gonna hit that for two. So I don't need to do anything. But do I have things to act first? Ah, you're gonna go up there. Will you explode if you're right next to it? Well, science! Alright, cool. Our slime, our slime hits first, and we'll always do the two actions. It moves to... Okay, so they don't actually attack right away either. Yes, yes, I got it. I want to move all the way through. Nice. Um, I could Lightning Strike, or I could do Quake. Lightning Strike and Quake is almost the same. I think I'll do Quake this time. Where do you plan to go? Plan to swap back over there. Alright, so I'll move slowly back towards it. I'm gonna slime ally is nice. These are some of these are very close range as well. Oh what are you? Teleport or target selected. Ooh. Alright, if I Oh, that is not what I want. Teleport target. Not myself. Okay, well, I've learned. I'll just kill. Alright. Ah, I should have looted that room. There was some gold at the top that I don't know if I got. Alright, so it does refresh to max hand size. Move to target position, phasing through units and causing one damage. You're all gonna move up, and I wish you were staying in a line. That would be nice. Maybe I should do Quake. Actually, what? That means one of the slime will hit me, won't they? No, they won't. If I do this. So they all, they all seem to only take two actions. Which is fine. I'm gonna have a lot of... Ooh, what is it? Heals three to target and cause one damage to all adjacent units. Do a phasing through one of these ones. Actually, I should have just smacked it. I yeah, probably should have just smacked it. Ah, because I don't really want to do this. I guess I could do it and then come back. I wonder if I'm um, using up all my cards count as dying. So maybe I shouldn't use all these. I'm gonna get hit for one up here. Because you can move and then smack me for one. That is fine. I'm just gonna do that first and then I will pass what you think. Initiative re engage. What does that mean? Alright, if I. 
Oh, I can just kill him with one hit. And then, if I move away, he can't hit me this turn. The music's jazzy, I like it. So that will hit everything for one. Oh, what is this? Summon an orb that lures enemies and cause one damage to adjacent enemies when it takes damage. Oh, cool. I don't think I need it. I just do that and then I can just really hit twice. Nice. Alright. Did I loot the money up top naturally? None of these are actually dropping anything for me, so maybe I, I'm just wasting my time. Did I get the money up the top right there? No, I didn't. And my slime is still here. Alright, so I do need to pick up the money. Good to know. I think enemies that I kill, I automatically pick up the money. Hmm. Alright. What are you? A lightning element of some sort? Can I? Is there any way to find details on you? Moves two and shocks two, whatever that means. Um, we're gonna move up. That is fine, I think. Yeah. What are you? A lightning orb element? Ooh, creates lightning tiles behind him. Will they erupt in the damage later? Do you only move in straight lines? So, what do I want to do? I don't want to, I don't want to burn the dash from that, but I think I can do Alright, and then I'll get ready to engage this guy. Move through target, phase into units and causing one damage. What does re-engage mean? Ah, he's blocked off, that's why he went that way. Alright, I can definitely kill him. Alright, I should just do that to get. Oh no, oh yeah, my health will come back to full. Alright, I can hit that, and then I'll just do Thunder Crash. Thunder Smite, sorry. This sort of, the, the picture reminds me of, um, you know, just like a uh, superhero landing style effect. Very cool. Must allow me to teleport over gaps and walls too. Ooh, a phantom card. Not a snake. Let's not waste any cards in case I don't actually uh, reload them. Okay, well there is a rest stop here. Maybe that means I actually have to reload on one of those spots. Ah. Uh... Is just do that. We'll just lure one. So makes go so like goads them. Does it also? Oh, uh, oh, it lures in that direction. Okay. All right. If I just smack him, will he spawn anything? No. All right. That was a good little test too. All right. Let's go to the rest stuff. Does that mean there's a boss room behind it? I don't know. What does this mean? Oh, shuffle. Ooh, okay. So I don't actually shuffle. That is, that is key. That is important. Alright, and is it a boss room afterwards? No, but there's a puzzle piece room, whatever that means. Alright, so I, I don't need to like strain myself, but like I need to make sure I don't use too many cards up. Ah, uh, let's make a copy of the fireball, that sounds strong. Everything moves up too. So when this hits this bad boy, it'll hit. Oh, okay, that is kind of annoying. I might have to just phase through them. Hmm. I do 
that. Oh, I can redo it. Oh. Not what I expected. Ah, uh, I might have to teleport you away. I'll teleport you here. Um, I'm going to get hit by one anyway. I'm going to hit by two now. I was trying to stop them from spawning. But I realized that these guys can also hit me. That's right, I have a heal handy. Harmful bless. Re-engage means I can use the card again. What what did the rest of the um, card effect say? Two. Choose two additional fireballs at each, so if I do that, it doesn't help me. If I do that, I can block that guy off. Now if I shoot the fireball down here, there we go. That kind of works the way I want it, but I, I have to have an area to spawn my fireball to. Did he just decide not to? Oh, he was stunned. Right. That makes sense. Alright. Can I heal? No, I can't. I think I need to get out of this spot. I'll smack him first. Right there. Get out of there. Actually, I should have sent it last minute. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe the card said initiative. Maybe that means I have to actually um, use it as the first card. Did it say initiative? So, shoots is also a key word. So, anything that has like, um, if you look over here when I hover over the card, it shows the symbol. Yeah, initiative means I would have to do it first, I think. Let me just double smash this guy. There's a, there's a decent amount of um, tactical depth to this. And uh, I, uh, I'll also be interested to see what the deck building aspect of it is like too. Uh, I love a good deck builder. Definitely getting there, but having them split into two makes it super rough. Right, now you, oh, you can move down, okay. and now you have to go around, are you? Yeah. Man, I got rid of Thundercrash so early. So good. Right, if I move back by one, I won't be hit. Because these two can only go up to here, to here, and then one of them will have to end up going the other way around. Oh no. Turn order is interesting, for sure. Because now this one will be confused and go the other way around. You can almost kind of like kite them. Ah, uh, yeah. That one, two. I have to move away anyway, so there's actually almost no point. I wonder. I'm pretty sure there are going to be different characters because um, I have seen on on like the Kickstarter page itself that there's different characters. But like the game already is pretty charming. Uh, I can't teleport to you. Alright, one, two, and I'll just do that. And the next turn I'll go all in on these guys. I can hopefully stun him or something. Maybe push him back to the next turn. Oh, right. So the blue word is summoned, so... And then the unit takes one damage, push one, and stun one. But why does this... Oh, maybe if it's pushed into a wall, it will do more. Okay. If I hit that, and do that twice. Yeah. 
Now I'm using two cards there, but I think it was worth it. Alright. I can also just use up the cards and um Ooh, what are these? Puzzle rooms. Oh, treasure room. Wait a second. You're summoning, you are moving that way. Alright. What are you? I don't know what that is. I think I need to hit first, maybe? with one more forward. Oh! That's what it means. I can actually just go through all enemies. And walls. Apparently. I thought I couldn't go through walls. I thought specifically it said I couldn't go through walls. So now you're going to go this way, right? And you're going to teleport one of these items. Oh, teleport away. Ooh! That could have been bad. They're going to move back. Uh, I actually can't reach, which is annoying. I might just have to stay here and wait for you to come to me. Uh, you're going to just summon another thing. It's very annoying. Uh, I'll just you first. I can hold shift to speed up. They are taking too long as well. I just realized that. Uh, I can't do that one from here. I don't want him to summon another one though. He's going to summon another one. That's so annoying. I lose my initiative here, don't I? I do. I have a double card here to get that movement as well. Oh, I don't. It's still my first card used. Interesting. If I stand here, he won't be able to summon. Alright, let's try that out. I think these two mean that I need to step on both at the same time, or have someone step on it. That's someone over here. And then I can use that as a target. There we go. Alright, so that, that that has the stepping stone on it already. There we go. Alright, so I did need two things on it. So that's what puzzle room has been. There's a treasure room nearby that I need to unlock. Ooh, was this the heal? I think that was the heal. Oh, this money. Alright, I hope it shows me the card buying mechanics too. I don't... Uh, I uh, in, in a normal run, I think I'd go through every room and explore everything. But for now, it's okay. It's, it's just the first run to a demo. Don't want to take too long for you guys. Ooh, a trick chest. Ooh, two trick chests. Oh, did I just get a card? Oh yeah, there's two cards in there. Alright. What happens now? Oh, damn, I don't get to see the card stuff. Well, that is fine. Uh, all good then. Thanks, everybody. Um, well, tell me what you guys think about it. See, see if you can support the Kickstarter. I think they still have late pledges and whatnot as well. But if not, um, try the demo for yourself. See what you think. Thanks, everybody, and have a good one.